All right, guys, I'm back, continuing the grandmother hypothesis. Basically, as women uh, age and go through menopause, science is confused why they're not dying faster. But in actuality, um, even in non-modern societies, grandmothers flourish and live longer. This has nothing to do with modernized medicine, actually. Um, now, you could argue 80s, 90s, that requires medical um, modern medicine, of course, but this is, uh, I don't know, it's a little more interesting than just like, oh, w women live longer because of the, the resources of the, the patriarchy and mass commodity culture. Like, that's not it. These methods are more reliable than demographics. They can also be pretty invasive, and they work better when studying animals in captivity than animals in the wild. That said, there are ways to study physiological changes in wild animals. You can still get urine samples, for instance, as long as you're quick enough. So as our analytical methods have gotten better, researchers wanted it. to take a look at our closest relatives, chimpanzees. And it turns out that we're not so special after all because research indicates that chimpanzees stop ovulating too. A longitudinal study in the Ngogo chimpanzee community in Uganda used both demographic and physiological data and found that none of the chimpanzees gave birth after age 50. And their hormone changes looked a lot like what happens when humans go through menopause. But those females kept on living. So my guess is this is uh, another senescence that she was talking about in the previous video. Um, since we're mammals, uh, it might be uh, menopause. I don't know, that's cool. Spending a full fifth of their lifespan unable to have more offspring. And there's no way that the grandmother hypothesis could explain any of this. For one thing, chimpanzee daughters leave the groups that they were born in when they reach adulthood. So older females don't live in the same groups as the offspring they're totally sure they're related to. And while they do continue to live with their sons, remember there's that whole paternal uncertainty thing? Grandma might not know for certain which babies in the group are really her descendants. And anyway, older chimps don't really babysit for anyone in their groups, even though this isn't uncommon in other primate species. Chimpanzees are just kind of jerks but that's just yeah if they had to raise their children it's probably like oh i'm just babysitting right no responsibility here <laughs> come on if humans are thinking like that we see all this pettiness with paternity certainty it, it, you know it would definitely amount to i'm babysitting or i'm just watching you a little bit whoever you are <laughs> the chimps. What if menopause is still really rare in the natural world? Surely that would mean our grandmas are special. Well, no. It turns out that there are a lot more species that have some form of reproductive senescence too. In studies that use physiological and demographic data, it turns out that basically all mammals experience life after ovulation. One study compiled the results of a whole bunch of these physiological tests and demographic surveys and estimated that across mammalian species, females spend 28% or more of their lifespan physically unable to reproduce. And while some had complex social structures, they didn't align with any observations of a particular importance on a grandmother in helping to care for young. So once again, we see an end in fertility, but no significant relationship with grandmas, which means that grandmothering can't be the evolution. So grandmothering is the communal aspect of a family. Now, obviously, you're not just going to live longer to be coded to be a grandmother. But, like, the myth overall is that um, life is about reproduction, which it's absolutely not. Humans are so obsessed with this in their own eugenic way, they ask, what is a woman, mostly through the perspective of them being able to bear children, and that's the only image of them we really have, you know. Um, most of their life, they'll be doing hobbies and life-flourishing things that like we would never really care to say oh yes this is what this woman is about or this is what this man is about you know it's for the most part you know people are defined by their first few like young moments i think and then you're just expected to do the the thing you're expected to do like have children you know which honestly i'm not gonna harp on that so reason behind menopause. Or at least, it can't be the only reason. The authors of the CHIMP study suggest that reproductive senescence might be related to competition oh. with younger females for opportunities to reproduce. Okay, it is senescence. So, 
Right. But there's another, even simpler hypothesis around menopause that might explain a lot of this called the extended mothering hypothesis. The extended mothering hypothesis basically says that as a female gets older, it becomes a better strategy to invest energy into the current offspring she's raising rather than having more new ones. Pregnancy takes a ton of energy, which could be... This kind of reminds me of, like the modern day woman that just has a dog or a cat and calls it a baby like obviously they're not literally thinking of it as a child but like you know you gotta fill in the blank and you got a furry buddy that you know doesn't <laughs> take 18 years to like get ready spent rearing the current crop of offspring instead of growing more plus dying before all of your children are able to take care of themselves is not for the survival rates of any offspring who haven't reached independence. Since baby mammals survive on milk, they're totally dependent on their mothers for at least a little while after birth, and have next to zero odds of survival without her around. So being able to reproduce for the entirety of your lifespan would require a huge resource investment, which would become moot if you die before your kids are all grown up. This hypothesis fits with reproductive senescence across all these other species too, not just ours. Of course, it's also possible that there's no evolutionary reason for menopause at all. It could be that ovulation stops because our biological systems just have a tendency to wear down with it. the lack or the the um menopause and the senescence that comes after your reproductive years is purely natural even if this has nothing to do with the grandmother hypothesis this is more of a uh a, a social incli inclination you know um so I think if you're if you're happy and you're chill and you don't feel like you missed out on your family or your children, you'll live longer. But if you're so focused on, oh, I wish I had children, I wish I had a family, and you're older, you might you might dwindle because you're depressed and you've already reached the end of your years. But you shouldn't make your life about whether or not you raised a child. Again, just like this is saying, you you live longer to experience more than just reproduc reproduction which is fascinating. Age, just like how we don't die when our hair turns gray or our skin gets wrinkly. So it turns out that this decades-old hypothesis was built on a house of cards and it may have come crashing down. We now know that females no longer being able to reproduce in their twilight years is super common thanks to these new techniques and studies. I think it's also easier to say grandmothers, the grandmother hypothesis, younger women specifically getting older and living without their reproductive energies. I, I feel like we can just acknowledge that this has nothing to do with uh, taking care of children because most grandparents are in nursing homes or disconnected to larger families. So, I mean, obviously we just got to paint our own meaning where a space would be, you know, for better or worse. But hey, just because natural selection might not have made all of our grandmas for some special reason, that doesn't make you our grandma any less special. If you liked this video, you might want to listen to a few of us at SciShow ramble about some other science topics that tickle our fancy. And boy, do we have a podcast for you. Some of the fun people... Alright, I will see you in the next one, guys. I really wanted to cover that. Alright, peace.